All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem, which says determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force, FR, which is the sum of these three forces, by uh, first finding the resultant force between F1 and F2, and then forming FR. What they want you to do is add this two, and then add the other one, which to me is a waste of time. You should just add all three of them at the same time, dividing it into X and Y components, but okay, so how they want it. So, F prime is equal to F1 plus F2. Now, the component, the F prime X, which is the X components of F1 and F2 added together, is equal to negative 30 because it's going on the negative uh, the, uh, x direction times 4 over 5 because we got this triangle right here with the notes the angle minus because this is also going on the negative x direction 20 cosine of 70 this 70 I got from this angle right here if this angle is 20 this angle is 70 since this is 90. So this will give you negative 30.84. This is in Newtons. Remember to always use your units. Now we're going to do the same thing but for the y. We know that the f1 is going on the positive y direction so it's 30 times 3 over 5 uh, minus because this is going on the negative y direction 20 sine of 70 and this is equal to negative 0 0.794 it's very close to zero which means they almost cancel out in the y direction so f prime will be equal to negative 30.84 in the x direction or i unit vector minus 0.794 in the j direction and we know that f3 is equal to 50 on the positive x direction and it has no y force so all you got to do is add these two together so f prime plus F3 is equal to FR, which is the resultant force, which is 30.84 plus 50 on the x direction, which is 19.16i minus 0.794j, which remains the same. This one remains the same since F3 doesn't have any effect on the y uh, axis so you need to convert this to polar fr in polar is equal to d square plus d square all square rooted will give you 19.17 and the angle you get by doing the tangent inverse of the y over the x which will give you 2.37 degrees but it's negative because as you can see the resultant force is going to do something like this because this is negative this 0.794 is negative so this is the final answer in polar coordinates